been good already. I enjoyed last night. Probably had a real good meeting last night. And had a visiting brother come and preach with us. And it's a wonderful thing. Yep. We come together. Leave the foolishness outside for just a few minutes. And come together and shout and rejoice. Sometimes we get it in our minds that this is about us. And this is about us getting blessed and us feeling good. And I'm the worst to think that. The week gets long and I think, gosh, I can't wait to go to church. Well, I can get strength. There you go. I think that all the time. Yeah. You know, sometimes we, we need to understand that it's not about us. It's about Him. Mm -hmm. It's about what can we do for Him. That's right. So many of us try to try to build the church around our lives. Really, we need to build our lives around the church. Yeah, that's right. Serving Him. Serving God. And I'm not talking about anyone in this building. I'm talking about myself. I get that way. And you know, we serve a merciful God. Yes, we do. And, and you know what? I, I don't say that with confidence because of anything I've read in here. I say that with confidence because I've experienced it. That's right. Yeah. I've experienced the mercy that He has. Because I knew, and I know the type of person that I was, Shad. Yeah. I know what I deserve. When I deserved death, I found life. Yeah. This world is hungry for the Spirit of God. But it goes about filling it up with all the worldly things. And I think about it like this. You know, when I was lost, Papa, and I was praying on account of my sins, I felt so empty inside. So empty. Nothing I could do. And I tried lots of different things. Nothing I could do would take that void away, would fill it up. Yeah. Until I got down on my knees and turned everything over to the Lord. Yeah. Said, Lord, just kill me right now. Yeah. Just kill me. I was down in a little basement, my parents' home. Just an 18 year old boy had just run away from home and come back. Listen. And when I finally laid down in the little basement and said, God, you take my life. Yeah. I don't want it anymore. Yeah. You kill me right now if that's what it means to make this feeling go away. Now listen, uh, you talk about getting up, feeling full. I wouldn't have yeah, it no more. <laughs> Amen. Papa, uh, uh, listen, and you know what I thought to myself? Uh, yeah. uh, well, uh, uh, it'll be good now. Uh, I can just sit down in the back of the church house. Uh, uh, come every Sunday and yeah. listen, yeah. and I'll be fine, uh, uh, people. Uh, uh, but you know what? It wasn't long after that. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, that I felt uh, uh, something different pulling on me. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, when I was lost and undone, uh, I felt empty uh, right. uh, people uh, uh, when I felt the call in the preach uh, yeah. I felt so full uh, I was like to burst uh, uh, brother Shan uh, uh, oh today uh, listen 
You know what? A long time ago, uh, when uh, God's people uh, were in bondage uh, down in Egypt's land, uh, listen, uh, God was using uh, Moses, uh, listen, uh, so uh, they would understand his wrath. Uh, people, uh, he poured it out uh, over Pharaoh there uh, with all the plagues that he sent. Uh, oh, Oh, uh, but there was one, yeah. uh, one on. lesson on. Uh, that I want to hit on this Let's morning. On. Yeah. And you know what? Uh, when uh, God spoke to Moses and said, uh, Lord, tomorrow, uh, listen, uh, I want you uh, uh, to go down uh, and tell the people yeah. uh, uh, that there's going to be a uh, uh, hail falling from the sky. Uh, uh, listen, uh, and you warn them uh, and tell them uh, uh, all the cattle, uh, uh, all uh, uh, the men and women uh, uh, that are out in the field. Uh, uh, when that hail comes, uh, uh, it's going to devour yeah, them right. uh, Lord uh, but he said uh, uh, listen uh, uh, those that are not brought home uh, will be devoured yeah. uh, uh, listen right. and you know what uh, uh, Moses went down uh, and he talked to the people uh, and he told them uh, yeah. uh, what the Lord had spoken and uh, uh, you know what uh, uh, there was some there yeah. that heated it in yeah. uh, listen uh, uh, they went out in the field uh, and gathered up their flocks uh, and they brought them home. Uh, uh, Lord, uh, when I was in trouble uh, on account of my sins, uh, I was looking uh, for that home. Uh, I was looking uh, for safety. That's right. I was looking uh, for a little reprieve uh, from this world. Uh, listen, uh, in the Bible. The Bible says uh, that he uh, that feared the word of the Lord uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, went uh, and got his cattle uh, and his servants yep. uh, and brought them in. Uh, whoa, God. And in the morning Moses come out uh, yeah. and he stretched his hands yeah. uh, and hell began to fall yep. uh, unlike anything right. uh, they had ever seen. You know what? Uh, uh, there was something else. Uh, uh, there was something else that came out of the sky. Yeah. Uh, God never told him uh, uh, what else was coming. A uh, uh, fire came down uh, and mingled with the hail uh, yeah. and smote everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, 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 my Lord was that fire. Uh, Brother Shen, uh, uh, when old John, uh, uh, the Baptist, uh, uh, was going about uh, yeah. uh, preparing the path uh, uh, for Jesus, yeah. uh, uh, listen, uh, and all the people thought uh, uh, that he was the Christ, uh, uh, that he was the Messiah, uh, you know what he told them, uh, I am not him, uh, there's one coming uh, uh, after me, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, who's very latches of their shoes uh, uh, that I'm not worthy to undo. Uh, Lord, I baptize uh, you with water, uh, uh, but there's coming one uh, who's going to baptize you uh, uh, with that fire uh, uh, that came down uh, uh, out of that sky. Uh, uh, Lord, uh, uh, listen. You know what? Uh, uh, when, uh, when uh, that little plate was over there, uh, uh, Moses, he went to Pharaoh uh, and he said, Now, uh, will you release my people? Uh, surely now, uh, after all these things had come to pass, I uh, listen. And you know what? Uh, uh, Pharaoh told him, uh, He said, Yeah, I see the error of my ways yeah. now. Uh, listen, uh, I'm going to let you people go. Uh, uh, your God uh, is, is the God, God of Israel yeah. uh, and of all the land. Listen. And you know what? Moses looked at him and said, I'll not so much as leave here that you're going to forget these things. Yeah. I'm not so much as going to leave this little temple here. 
and you're going to harden your heart. Mm -hmm. yep. And I often thought about that. <clears throat> Moses knew. God knew. God had told him. So then why? Why? When it said did, Moses take heed to it and leave. And he went out. It's because we serve a merciful God. Yeah. God was given the people opportunity yeah. Yeah, to heed His words. Yeah. And you know, it says when Moses walked out and he stretched forth his hands one more time and the rain stopped. And the hail stopped. And when Pharaoh saw that the rain and the hail and the thunders were ceased, he sinned yet more. Yeah. And he hardened his heart. Hardened his heart. I'm so glad this morning that my Lord didn't stop after the first time I was disobedient to him. Yeah. I'm so glad that he didn't give up on me. Listen, you know what? I've heard him say that uh, that God calls you one time. I got news for you. He called me a whole lot of times. Brother Sharon, uh, uh, begging me, begging me to stop doing what I was doing to turn to him. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, you know what? Uh, I heard last night uh, and this morning uh, uh, talking about my youngest daughter, uh, Olivia. Uh, listen, uh, uh, you know what? Uh, uh, they told us even after uh, uh, we brought her home uh, uh, from that hospital, they told us uh, uh, she's not going to be normal. Uh, uh, listen, uh, and you know what? Uh, uh, the doctor said yeah. you need to prepare yourself yeah, right. uh, to take yeah. care of her for the rest of her life. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, she's yeah. going to require constant care. Uh, yeah. uh, you know what? Uh, and just a few months after that, uh, uh, we went up uh, uh, to my memo B's house uh, uh, up in Kentucky there uh, uh, for uh, uh, Christmas Eve. Uh, uh, There's probably about 80 of us in that little home uh, uh, listen uh, and you know what uh, uh, before we started uh, uh, opening up the presents there uh, uh, my papa uh, uh, I told uh, I was blind and deaf uh, uh, listen uh, uh, you know what uh, uh, he called everyone in uh, uh, the living room there uh, and said I got something to say uh, oh you need to understand uh, uh, how unlike uh, uh, my papa that is uh, uh, listen, uh, I done do a whole lot of talking. Uh, uh, listen, uh, but uh, uh, we all went in and sat down. Yeah. Uh, and I had Livy uh, uh, sitting in my lap there. Uh, oh, 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 but he said, uh, I uh, uh, had me a little dream uh, uh, that I want to tell you. Uh, uh, listen, uh, and he looked right at Livy uh, and he said, uh, uh, Lord, it came to me. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, when she was born uh, uh, with the problems that she had, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, that God was holding her uh, and trying to decide uh, uh, just what to do with her. Uh, uh, listen, uh, and he was vexed. Uh, uh, listen, uh, and his son Jesus came uh, uh, walking there uh, and looked at his father uh, and said, uh, uh, why are you Troubled, uh, and God said, uh, I don't know what to do with her. Uh, uh, listen, uh, oh, and Jesus looked at his father uh, and said, uh, I know uh, who you need to give her to yeah. uh, because uh, uh, Jeremy and Brandy, uh, uh, they're going to love her no matter what. Uh, uh, Lord, uh, uh, this past weekend. Uh, I was sitting on the front porch uh, uh, with Papa on, uh, uh, swinging on that porch swing. Yep. Uh, listen, you know what? Uh, uh, she's five years old now, uh, and Papa uh, is blind. Uh, he can't see even who he's hugging. Uh, uh, listen, uh, I was sitting on that swing, uh, and Libby come running up to him uh, and just jumped in his lap uh, and threw her little arms around him. Uh, oh, 
and she went skipping off uh, and he looked at me uh, and he said uh, oh was that that little angel uh, oh yeah. and I said yeah Papa I said, you know, she's cheerleading now. Yeah, yeah. And he just began to laugh uh, and pat his leg uh, and said, I knew everything. Uh, I was going to be all yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, Lord, uh, aren't you glad uh, that with life gets out of hand, uh, uh, we can just call on him yeah. and say, uh, uh, Lord, one more time, uh, uh, life's gotten out of control. Uh, how many times uh, have you prayed for us kids uh, uh, listen that's right aren't you glad that mercy sits on the throne yeah. you know what I thought when she was in there I know you have heard this but when she was in there and I lost my wife and and Livy, over 20 minutes, they worked on her, trying to get her to start breathing again. 20 minutes may not seem like that long, but you know what? You can do a whole lot of thinking and praying in 20 minutes. Yeah. When I was in that hospital, knowing the type of life I had lived, I thought to myself, now it all makes sense. This is what I deserve. Yep. Now I'm finally getting justice for the things that I've done. And you know what? I thought to myself, God, uh, just kill me. Uh, yeah. I don't do it to them. Uh, I just take my life. Yeah. Uh, uh, Father, uh, uh, do you love your children? Uh, uh, what wouldn't you do? Uh, uh, is there a building uh, uh, listening uh, that you wouldn't run into if it was on fire uh, uh, to save one of your children? Uh, uh, listen, uh, I wouldn't even think twice uh, uh, to lay my life down uh, for them. Uh, they was in trouble. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, but mercy uh, uh, sitting on the throne. Uh, oh, Lord, uh, I then got that thought. Uh, uh, now I'm getting what I deserve. Uh, uh, that I heard uh, that little heart monitor start beeping. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, I want to shout. Uh, I run up and down uh, uh, the hallways of that hospital. Uh, uh, it's going to have this world. Give me Jesus. I just want yeah. my Lord. Yeah, yeah, Lord. You know, I think Jeremiah said it the absolute best. <laughs> After all the troubles and heartaches that he suffered, yeah. trying to be obedient to God, he was beaten and cast down and stoned. And you know what? He told himself, he said, I'm just going to quit. Yeah. Yep. I'm just going to stop. I'm I've done, done everything that I can and brought, yep. brought nothing but heartache. Uh, life ain't been a bed of roses uh, uh, since I come into the church. Yep. Uh, but uh, every time uh, that I think, uh, well, uh, I'm just going to stop. Yeah. Uh, listen, oh. I remember what Jeremiah said uh, that it I uh, is like a fire uh, uh, deep my within bones. My, bones. Yeah, my bones. And I can't stop. I can't, yeah, if this close, world close could feel yeah. this verse, if it could feel what I feel when God blesses me, yeah, Lord. this church would be full. That's right. Amen. There wouldn't be a lost soul out there. <laughs> that's right. Because that's how real it is. I learned by experience. I even said, I'm going to get out of the way, but I even said, when I join the church, if it's not exactly yeah. what I've heard, and yep. if it's not as good as, as what I've heard, I'm not going to stay. I'm going to tell them that I made a mistake. That's what I told myself. Yeah. And that was in September of 2003. 14 years ago never had cause to look back. Never. It's very real. Yes, come on. Who you want to come? Come on. Close it up. I love you.